Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, as you obviously read from the title, I am doing another movie theory video. I recently did one on Coraline, which if you haven't seen, I'll put it on this screen somewhere for you to click on. And I got a really good positive feedback for that. So I was like, okay, I can do another movie theory. I have a lot and I'm ready to share. So the last one was about Universal Studios, so I decided this week to focus on a Disney theory. So there are a lot of different Disney theories all over YouTube and the internet, so I tried to do, I'm gonna try and do some theories that are like not as popular because like, I'm not gonna talk about like the Pixar theory because like, there's a lot of other YouTubers that have already done that really well, so I'm not gonna be doing that. So if you wanna see more theory videos like these that aren't that well known, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because I will be making a lot more, not just about animation movies, but like motion picture films and all that jazz too. Anything really. So make sure to subscribe so that you'll see my next one. And obviously, since you guys read the title, the theory is about that Ariel's mum, Queen Athena, was actually in Peter Pan. So now let's start with the theory. For those of you that haven't watched the Little Mermaid series in quite some time, I'll just give you guys a quick refresher on who Ariel's mother is and how she died. Okay, so all of the Little Mermaid's family, along like her mom, her dad, all of her sisters, and some other like irrelevant characters, were all like chilling in this cove, just playing and having fun. When all of a sudden, a big pirate ship came along and invaded the area, and they all quickly swam out and they got the heck out of there. All except for Queen Athena because she saw that a girl had her tail trapped between some rocks so she moved then and let her out and she was then in the water but decided to go back for her locket thing. I'm not quite sure what it's called. There's a picture of it on the screen right now for you guys so that you know what I'm talking about. And then she got squished by the boat between the rocks. We don't see it happen obviously because it is a family film but we can guess that she was squished and that is how she died by a pirate boat. So that's just a little bit of background on Queen Athena and what is is solid about her like what we know about her so in this theory it is that this mermaid in Peter Pan is Queen Athena so Peter Pan was the first ever Disney movies where we saw animated mermaids and then the next one was the little mermaid so it's not that fast fetched to think that there would be some sort of connection between those two especially since a lot of people tend to believe that all of the Disney movies exist on one giant world if it hasn't been done too much on YouTube then comment below if you want to see me do a video about my version of how I think all the Disney movies are connected. This though is not to be confused with the Disney Pixar theory because that is like all over the internet. So if we put the two pictures of Queen Athena and this mermaid side by side, obviously the animation is like a lot different because there was a big time gap in animation between the movie where we see Queen Athena and Peter Pan. But they do look fairly similar, like I, I, I understand it's a big stretch, but they both have reddish orangey hair and pale white skin. So obviously that's not enough evidence to say that they are the same person, but you have to admit that they do look quite similar. Now the mermaid in Peter Pan would obviously be Queen Athena when she was a lot younger, not at the same age. She looks like she's roughly around her late teens, this mermaid, and we're never really given much information at all about this mermaid because she's quite an irrelevant character in the whole scheme of Peter Pan. Okay, so in the theory that all of the Disney movies exist on the same world and same timeline, the Peter Pan movie actually comes first before The Little Mermaid and it allows enough time for that mermaid to grow up and have her own daughter to be 16 by the time that The Little Mermaid comes out because Ariel was 16 at the time that The Little Mermaid was released. And as I said, these two movies were the only movies with mermaids in them for quite some time, so it wouldn't be too far of a stretch to say that they are related in some way. In Peter Pan, we don't know much about those mermaids because they're not really relevant characters, but what we do know is that they are afraid of Captain Hook because when Peter Pan mentions Captain Hook, they all scream, ah, Hook! and they like jump into the water and they like swim away. And since the threat of the pirates is continued throughout both movies for the mermaids, it could be presumed that they are definitely related in somehow all of these mermaids. So why not Ariel's mother? I mean the evidence is there. Throughout both movies of Peter Pan and The Little Mermaid, only one lot of pirates are seen. And if we have a side by side of Captain Hook's boat and the boat that's seen in Ariel's movie when her mother is killed, they look quite similar. 
Now, since the only pirates that we see are in Peter Pan and it is Captain Hook, it can kind of be presumed that they kind of have like the lottery over the ocean, like they're kind of the alpha pirates, because no one else is seen. We don't ever see any other pirates or hear about any other pirates. We only hear about Captain Hook and his crew. If there is only one lot of pirates in this Disney world, then it would be those pirates that killed her mother. So some more evidence to this is that in Peter Pan, when they, when Peter Pan tells the mermaids that Hook is nearby, Queen Athena is the first one to scream Hook and to jump into the water. Now, when we see the pirate ship come in the Little Mermaids movie, we see that Athena is actually the last one to jump in the water. She stops to help another mermaid escape, and then when she's in the clear, she goes back to grab her locket thingy. Which, like, why did she go back? I don't, I don't, I don't know. That's weird. So, I believe that over time, she's had more and more encounters with Hook and knows that he's, like, a friendly guy because although Hook is evil, he's really, like, for a pirate, not that bad. I mean, pirates in the past are, like, ruthless. Think of some the pirates that we hear about in history. All of those pirates are like ruthless and horrible and yet Captain Hook is nowhere near that bad. So over time, Athena, Queen Athena became like complacent with Hook. She knows the Hook isn't really going to hurt her. He may be scary and intimidating but he won't hurt her. So she therefore became complacent and went back for her locket but didn't realize how close the boat was to her because technically it wasn't the pirates that killed her. It was the boat. So after all of that evidence, I personally believe that Queen Athena, yes, is in Peter Pan as this mermaid. So my question for the day for you all is, do you think that Queen Athena would have approved of Eric? So although we don't have a lot of interaction with Queen Athena, we do see her in Peter Pan hating on Wendy. They pull on her dress, they're throwing water at her, and when asked why, Queen Athena responds, we were only trying to drown her. So from this, two statements can be made. Either one, she, Queen Athena, does not like mortals, or two, she was just jealous of Wendy and Peter Pan. So, I personally believe that she was just jealous of Wendy and Peter Pan. All the mummies were flirting with Peter and they were having fun and then Wendy came along and they got mad. So I do personally believe that Athena would have been fine with Ariel and Eric because she has matured a lot in those years. She's grown from a teenager to an adult that has her own daughter and as long as her daughter Ariel is okay, I think she'd be fine with it. So that is the theory of how Queen Athena, Ariel's mother, is in Peter Pan. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And if you like these movie theory videos, be sure to go check out my last one about Coraline. And if you agreed with this theory, comment it down below. Or if you have any other movies that you'd like me to talk about theories in, or there's theories that you've heard about and you want me to talk about them, I would be happy to. Just let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I have new videos out every single Friday. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! We can just we can just put that in the bin, so um we no longer need it.